Do you know anything about building chicken coops? Come help me. What's happening at Cock Hill Farm peeps? This is Jason over here at Cock Hill Farm and today we're fixing to work on the new chicken coop. So let's get started if the rain holds off. So we're gonna put it right here and this is gonna be the new area where the chickens can roost at night and we're gonna move the rabbits on the inside of this building that used to be where they roosted at night. We don't have near as many chickens as we used to so they don't need this such large area just to go to bed. Since we free range our chickens in the mornings, we'll feed them some grains, some fruits and vegetables in here so the ducks and geese don't eat it. And after about an hour, we just let them out and they have free range of the whole property. So to save us time and money, we're just gonna build like a screen porch area, just like we did here, right here for the egg laying chickens. That way they can go up at night, be protected, and in the mornings we can just let them out. Jason's at home working, trying to get some poles set for this new area for the chickens to roost. And Mary Carl and I, along with Penny, are headed to a building supply store to get some metal for the roof part. My plan is to make this like a little hallway. You walk through here, you have a coop here and a coop here, and this will be the door entering the rabbit. So just got through putting the wire on. It, um, it's got some slack in it, but with chicken wire, you gotta pull it tight left and right and up and down so you just get it as tight as you can get it you know and it, it'll, it'll get pretty tight it's not like you can put a wire puller on chicken wire because it's so thin you would rip it now my other one i was able to find six foot chicken wire for some reason locally we didn't have any mrs cockyo looked at two different stores couldn't find any but that's no big deal we'll piece it together and i'll just put a one by four where the seam is next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the uh the bottom board on it, just a two by four across the bottom to hook the chicken wire to. What if I got enough two by fours to strip it? What do y'all think? I don't know either. Door! Almost done. Hang this sucker. Woo. Finally got the door working. Did you? Finally. Let's put a little latch on it. Latch done. Can I get a haircut tonight? It's gonna be much cooler. The next day. I got my joist in there, so I'm gonna run me some strips, just some one by fours across there. Just a couple of them, just to sturdy up some. I mean, it's not gonna be that much weight on this thing. Got that bad boy stripped out. Now we're gonna fix to cut this metal, get this metal thrown on, and we'll be finished. I know y'all have heard me say it before, but the die grinder is probably the most underrated tool you can have. This thing's awesome. At first, I thought that was black tar that may have fell on it from the hardware store, but this is like a used piece. Well, it's nice goose poop.
Well, I stayed up real late last night and it got dark and my battery went dead so I wasn't able to finish filming the final project but let me show you what it looks like still got just a little bit we gotta do to it but it's pretty much finished I got the roof put on all the wires up I got a roof put in and I'm gonna move some nesting boxes in here right here I'm gonna cover this hole up where they used to go in to this coop I'm just thinking this will look better yeah I don't know if y'all see it in my videos in this video, but Rod has been helping me the entire time. Entire time. All right, Rod, let's get this box put on, buddy. I'm thinking these screws, what do you think? Appreciate it. This project is pretty much done. Next step will be starting on the rabbit hut or the rabbit house, or whatever you want to call it. But this chicken coop's done. Now we're fixing to try to get them to go up and get them start trained to going in this area. It's super close to where they did go. It's actually the same door where they went in at night. So they're already going in there and they're trying to go up in that hole. But with that roost in there, once we get them in there, we'll shut the door. They should roost on that roost tonight and start learning that. In about a week or two, they will uh, they will have learned this as their new home and start coming here from that point on. So if you're trying to teach your chickens to go up at night, keep them in that same spot for a week or two and let them get used to going in that one spot. And then once they get used to it, once they honed in, that's their place, they'll keep going back there every time. All we really have to do is holler here, chick, 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 chick. They gonna know what's going on. They're thinking we're gonna give them a treat, so they're gonna come running. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. Hey, if you want to see the first chicken coop I built, check out that video right over here. And if you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below. Y'all be good.